It seems like we do this story pretty much every year. And you know what? We do. One year ago, we did this exact same story. People holding up Pat Tillman as an example of why their side is right. The only problem is it doesn't take into account who Pat Tillman was. You've probably seen the meme using Tillman's picture in the ad instead of Colin Kaepernick, and we'll get to that. First, the ad itself. You either love it or you hate it. He is just making a very respectful, nonviolent stand on what he believes. Karen Klecky in Prescott Valley loves it. No surprise, she worked for Nike. She has 19 Nike-related tattoos. I've got some on my stomach, my legs, on the back of my arms as well. Like 1972 on her leg, the year Nike was founded. But for every Karen, there's a Glenn. Hey Nike, why not honor real heroes like Pat Tillman who gave the ultimate sacrifice? Or a John, no Colin, you had everything without the sacrifice. Pat Tillman sacrificed it all. Here's the thing about Pat Tillman. He was not a poster child for anything. He really wasn't even a poster child for himself. There's long been a debate of whether or not he would have wanted any of this. All of his friends and family say he was an intellectual, philosopher, and he loved protest. Tillman's ASU teammate Jeremy Stott wrote, please do not use Pat Tillman as a ploy for your political views. Pat was not a Republican, and with the government's handling of his death and the lies that followed, I do believe that Pat would value the players' protest against police brutality and equality. Another teammate, Juan Roque, was a little more forceful. Stop using our fallen teammate's picture to demean the Nike Kaepernick ad. If Pat were alive, he'd cuss you out for it. For their part, the Tillman family has stayed out of it since 2017, the last time we did this story. That's when Marie Tillman issued a statement saying his service should not be politicized in a way that divides us.